Everybody, if you do my channel, I'm Lori. Welcome to Chatty Bookworm. Um, starting tomorrow through Sunday. So tomorrow from 7 p.m. Eastern till Sunday, um, 7 p.m. Eastern is 72 hours in the haunted house. Then uh, it's run by Ra Reese Rise Reading Corner. Mel from Mel Lenore Reads. Uh, Cassidy from Covers with Cassidy, uh, Lexi from Books with Lexi, and Callie, Callie's, Callie or something like that from Callie Books. They are all doing it. Um, it's like where you spin uh, a wheel. I'm not sure like what all the prompts are, but there's like there's a thriller wheel and a horror wheel, and they both have prompts. And then you like say tomorrow night at seven when you roll. Eastern time or six or whatever time yours would be um, in your time zone I guess it would be I'm not sure if it's like if it would be like seven no matter what I'm not really sure how that works but I'm gonna go like it's six o'clock my time so I'll start at six my time um, anyways um, they have a thriller pro um, will so if you pick the thriller will for that full 24 hours you have to keep spinning the wheel and then the next day, if you want, you can go to the horror wheel. But then you have to, you know, keep on that horror wheel that whole 24 hours. And then for the last 24 hours, the same thing. You could pick one of them and you, or you could stay with the whole wheel the whole time. Yeah. I have some books I'm going to show you. Like, I'm not even sure, like, for some reason, it does not want to open this up. Let's see if I can get it now to open up. This thing is giving me problems for some reason. Yeah. I don't know why it is not letting me go to where I want to go. So that's not good because it's not letting me go for some reason. So, technical, sorry for the technical difficulties, however you want to say it. Oops, hold on a minute. Let me try again. Let me go to her announcement. And let me go to the thriller one first. Okay, now it's letting me do it. So for the thriller, Will, we got psychological, domestic, amnesia, one by one. I don't know what one by one means. I'm not really sure about that one. Snowy setting, romantic suspense, supernatural, mystery, and... Oh, no, two more. Crime slash police procedural and isolating, isolating settings. So that's what the will is for the thriller. And then for the horror, we got psychological again, cozy, snowy setting, slasher, science fiction slash horror, or science fiction horror, whatever you say. Gothic, supernatural, haunted houses, creature feature, and... I mean, spooky word in the title and cosmetic. I don't know what they mean by cosmetic either. She said to look it up. <laughs> so we'll look it up if we get that. But today I'm just, I mean, we'll do that. Or I'll look it up later because I'm not going to spin the wheel until I'll probably like start my read, you know, like the vlog just to introduce it tomorrow. Like a half hour before the readathon officially starts my time zone. But let me show you some of the books I want to I might be reading. I'll pick a couple up at a time. I got You'll Be the Death of Me. Hopefully I can figure out what that would work for. Uh, I got The Devil Takes You Home. I don't know too much about this. Uh, I think it's a thriller. I'm not sure. It says it's like it's a storyteller like Stephen Graham Jones and Celia Marine. Marine Marino Garcia. I say I always say the name wrong. I do have other books that aren't here that I could potentially read, but I want to show you the ones I really would like to try to, like some of these that I would really like to read. We got What Lies in the Woods by Kate Alice Marshall. I think they they lie. I mean, yeah, they were eleven when they sent a killer to prison. They were heroes, but they were liars. So, so they're lying about whatever happened. And one of the girls, I think, goes missing or gets killed. Uh, yeah. 
It says, for decades the friends have kept a secret that might be worth killing for, hidden in the forest. But now Olivia wants to tell the whole story. Then she goes missing. And Naomi sets out to find out what really happened in the woods, no matter how dangerous the truth turns out to be. So. Yeah. I'm not sure what this would work for. Uh, maybe psychological? Uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. It has to work for something. Um. I'll figure it out <laughs> if we get to something that it will work for. I have The Family Game by Katherine Stedman. I think this one um, is um, like she gets married to this guy and then she, when she, I'm not married, engaged, and then she goes to like a weekend with him and his family and there's a game element involved. I'm not really sure too much. I'm not sure if this is isolated. I'm thinking it might be isolated. Let me see. Yeah, it has to do with the confession. She pushes play and then the dad or her soon to be father in law um, gives her um, a tape of a book that he's been working on. And when she listens to it, she she finds out that it wasn't actually a novel, that's a confession. A confession to a grisly crime, a murder, and suddenly the game is in motion. Feeling isolated and confused, Harriet must work out if this is part of a plan to test her loyalty or something far darker. What is it that Robert sees in her? Why give her the power to destroy everything? This might be a game to the Holbeck, Holbeck, so at that family, but for Harriet, losing might prove deadly. I'm not sure. I'm thinking this might be isolated. I'm not really sure about the whole thing. <laughs> um, I have um, Breathless by Amy McCall. This is a thriller, and this has a snowy setting. I think um, she wants someone to teach her something. I'm not really sure about the whole thing. I just know she goes to, um, when she gets there, um, everybody is di being killed, I think. And she's like on her own and trying to survive, I think. I'm not really sure about the whole thing. But this would definitely work for a snow, snow on the cover. Um, yeah. I'm going to grab the rest of them so I can show you together. Okay, there we go. I have... Um, The Children on the Hill by Jennifer McMahon, something like that. I'm not sure how you say her last name. I don't know what this one's about. I have no idea. Uh, it says, comes a defiant novel inspired by Mary Shelby Shelley's masterpiece Frankenstein. This brilliant experience explores the airy mysteries of childhood and the evil, evils penetrating by the monsters among us. I'm not really sure, but it sounds like it's going to be creepy. I don't know if this would be thriller or horror. I'm not really sure. It says it's a page turner. Yeah. It says it's a creepy atmospheric setting. It's spooky, so maybe I can... It could be on either of them. I'm not really sure. This would work for the Amnesia one by Megan Gold. It's called Stay Awake. Some of these Robin gave me because she was going to get rid of them. And she asked me first if I wanted them. So, my girl's so sweet. Uh, this one, the only one I've ever read by her is The Night Swim, which I loved. I think I gave it a 4.5, rounded up to 5. So, I really liked that. This one is, like, she... She wakes up and she um, doesn't remember what's going on. So I guess she doesn't know what's going on, but she goes to like where she thinks she lives and finds out that she doesn't live there anymore. And she finds something on her arm that says stay awake. And yeah, she's trying to like piece together like um, what happened and why why um, it's stay and stay awake on there. Because I guess whenever she um, falls asleep, her memory, she loses her memory all over again. 
So it sounds like it's going to be really good. And I guess someone else is killed. She sees the thing that someone is killed. And the person has numbers on their arm, I think, as well. This is another one that has snowy. Is that snowy? Um, the Writing Retreat by Julia Bartz. All I know about this is she thinks she's going there to write a story um, or something like that. And when she gets there, or to learn to write a story or something, I don't know. But when she gets there, other people are there. And I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. I got this this month from Book of the Month. And it says, um, they must all compete it, complete an entire novel from scratch during the next month. And the author of the best one will receive a life-changing seven-figure publishing deal. It says, determined to win this seemingly impossible contest, Alex buckles down and tries to ignore the strange happenings at the estate including Roz's, Roz's, Roz's erratic behavior, Ren's cruel mind games, and the alleged haunting of the mansion itself. So this could work for, I think, I would think, um, isolated setting, probably snow on the cover. Um, um, what else? Oh, something's supposed to be haunted, so I guess like supernatural maybe? I'm not really sure. It seems like that it will fit a lot of good prompts. I have um, Sit Sharp Teeth, a werewolf novel by Rachel Harris. I actually have Crackle, too. So if I can find Crackle, that would be another good one. This one, I'm not sure what this would work for. Maybe Creature Freak. I'm not sure. To be perfectly, perfectly, uh, um, you know, perfectly honest. I don't even know what this is really about. I gave this to Robin for um, Christmas, but she didn't want to keep it, so she let me have it. Um, it says, a young woman in need of transforming finds herself in a tough, in touch with the animal inside in this gripplin in, in, obsessive? I don't know how you say this word. <laughs> in, sense of, I don't know, novel. From the author of Crackle and the Return. Did she get bit by a, um, she gets bit by a, um, she's going home for her twin sister. I think she's going to have a baby or something. I'm not really sure, but she's going home for some reason to do with her twin sister. And on the way, she gets bit. And I guess she starts, like, transforming into a werewolf. So it's this dark, comic, comedic, kind of, comic love story is apparently layered portrait of tra I mean, tr trauma, rage, and vol vol volubility. How did this one work for? Um, let me see. Oops, sorry, my, my um, thing is trying to go off with the little bit of slasher graphic. This probably would be supernatural, right? Let's see. I'm not really sure. Let's look at the thriller again because that was horror. Um, I think it might work for, um, not amnesia. It would work for, um, supernatural. I'm not really sure what else. I don't know what one by one is. I gotta go and watch their announcement video again to remember what they said, but what that means. But yeah, so that one. And then the last one is How to Sell a Haunted House by Grady Hen Hendrick. This is, um, I think their parents die or something, and they're supposed to um, go home to sell the house, and crazy stuff happens to them. I heard that this is very spooky, kind of scary, because it has to do with um, dummies. I think it's dummies and dolls. I'll double check. Puppets and dolls. Yeah. At the back on the end, it says right here, it says, but some houses don't want to be sold, and Louise and Mark's home has other plans for both of them. But this says on the back, somebody does say gothic. So I guess it would work for gothic. It would work for haunted houses. Um, I'm not sure what else. What else? Gosh, I'm sorry, I cannot talk. 
I do have other books that I could probably fit. Um, you also get, I forgot to tell you, you can spin the wheel three times. So if you don't, if you don't have one, you can spin it, but you got to choose it wisely. Cause remember you only had three, three spins and you have three days to read. So yeah, but, um, yeah, this one I'm really hoping I get to, and you don't have to like read a whole lot of books. You could just like take your time and just read one book if you want. You know what I mean? Or you can like find some small ones. I'm going to see if I might, if I can find some on my Kindle that might be for free or, I mean not free, but through KU. So I'm going to see if I can find anything like that. So if I do, I will probably do that. But yeah, those are the, some of the books that I'm hoping I might be able to get to. Uh, yeah. I do have like, you know, some, um, vampire books but I don't know if they were worth their romance but there's also like a thriller element to it um so that could maybe one of those could maybe work for um romantic suspense maybe I'm not really sure it could definitely work for supernatural though um it's um by Gray Byron and it's where they have to find their soulmate or um their demon or their yeah demon whatever you want to say will take over so like you know like they, that's what their um their demon or whatever you want to say is what their um is like what makes them i guess a vampire kind of but anyways if they don't find their mate that that will take over that part of them will take over and they will you know become they will, you know what you call it take over the world i mean kill everybody you know what i mean so, yeah. But let me know if you're going to be participating. Um, if so, yeah. Um, if you have any idea of what I could read for the prompts, let me know. And that is it. Um, stay tuned for the reading vlog. This is going to, like I said, take place starting tomorrow, 7 Eastern Standard Time, till Sunday, 7 Eastern Standard Time. And yeah. So talk to me down below and I will talk to you guys all later. Bye for now.